Welcome everyone, my name is Carson from the Special Olympics Ontario Athlete Leadership Council and I'll be your instructor for the Strength Challenge session today. Some of the sports that I do for Special Olympics are skiing, floor hockey, and some soccer. And some of the reasons why I stay active and fit is to improve my overall self-confidence and live the best life that I can. Now before we begin today's exercises, please note that any accessibility combinations are totally acceptable and please do as many as as many reps and sets that you feel are appropriate for you. And now here are some facts for you. Did you know strength training boosts your energy levels, improves your sleep, mood, bone health, and muscle mass? Strength training is one of the best ways to stay active and fit and improve your overall health and wellness, and is one of the key stepping stones to becoming a more accomplished athlete. Now on that note, let's get to improving your strength. All right, so I'm going to run you guys for a warm-up real quick before we get to the exercises. And make sure you stay six feet apart from each other and get up into a pair or groups of three because we're going to do the warm-up and the challenge exercises as a team. Now for the first warm-up, we're going to do some arm circles. So for this, we're going to extend our arms both sides fully extended. We're going to just do a little circular motion forward. We're going to do that for 30 seconds. Ten seconds, everyone. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to do the same motion backwards for thirty seconds. Ten seconds, everyone. Five, four, three, two, one. Great. So for the next warm-up we're going to do, we're going to do some jumping jacks. Make sure you stand straight. And for the jumping jacks, we're going to push our knees out with our arms following that motion. And then we're going to come back standing. We're going to do this ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent work, guys. And remember to relax and breathe. So for the next uh, warm-up we're going to do, we're going to do stationary butt kicks. So I want you guys to have your knees uh, hip length with the arms at your side. And for it, you're going to have your right heel Hit your buttocks, and then you're going to put the right sole of your foot down and have the left heel. We're going to do this in a jogging motion for at least one minute. Then we're going to rest, and we're going to do it again for one minute. All right. Ready? Go. And remember to have good form too, guys, because Good form always rules in whatever you do, be it a warm up and the workout in general. All right, we're halfway there, guys. Are you with me? Ten seconds, everyone. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job, guys. Now we're going to do a quick rest.
And then we're going to do that again for approximately one minute. In five, four, three, two, one, begin. Halfway there, guys. You got this. Ten more seconds, guys. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. All right, guys, it's karaoke time. So before we do this one, make sure you have plenty of space around you and that you're not hitting anyone. And so for this one, you're going to, for karaoke, you're going to want to cross your right foot over your left while moving to the side, with arms at your side and crossing your right, uh, right foot with your left. And we're going to do this uh, side by side continually for one minute. So you guys ready? And go. All right, guys, great job. Take a two minute water break. You've earned it. Hey guys, welcome back. Now it's the moment you guys have been waiting for, the challenges. We're going to do six exercises in total for the challenges, and you're going to want to do these in a group 
or a pair. And be sure to do only what you can, not as uh, not what's required, because this is for you guys, and you guys decide your own limitations. Now, for the first exercise, we are going to do some push-ups. So I'm gonna need you guys to come up to a plank position on your hands and feet. You're going to want to make sure your back and neck are straight, and then we're going to have just your hands positioned wider a little bit wider than your shoulders and then you want to lower your shoulders and come down keeping your back straight pause for two to three seconds then come right back up we're going to do this uh, ten times in total after that we're going to have a little break then we're going to do it again for ten times I know it sounds a little hard but you guys got this all right, all right. ready go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Great job, guys. Uh, Push-ups are one of my favorite exercises because it always focuses on your chest and you want to do a lot of those if you want to gain a really big chest. And speaking of chest, whenever you're coming down and when you're, uh, when you're ever coming down and you want to come up, you want to focus on uh, your chest muscles. Do not arch your back in any way or your neck because that will lead to serious back injuries. All right. Now with the last round, you guys got this. In three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Great job, guys. So the next exercise we're going to do is called prisoner squats. What we're going to do for this one is that we are going to have our hands behind our head, interlocking them, and then we're going to have our elbows out to the side, like this, and make that in line with our back. But if that's um, too uncomfortable for you, you don't have to do it. Then just lower yourself like you're sitting in a chair and then using your heels to bring yourself back up. We're going to do this for 10 reps and then after that we're going to take a little break then do another 10 reps. Ready guys? Let's go. One, two, three. And now for this one, you're going to want to make your back and neck straight. Always do that for every exercise. And get some water. You guys have earned it. guys go down you're going to want to hold this position for a little a second and then you're gonna come back right up if you guys want to challenge yourselves be do whatever you think you have to do all right now back to it one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great work, guys. So for the next one, we're going to do stationary lunges. So basically, we're going to uh, step out with either our left, uh, we're going to step out with either our left or our right. I'm going to do my right. And then we're going to bring our leg down. We're going to make sure that it touches, we're going to make sure our left knee touches the ground. And you want to have your front leg at 90 degrees so you don't hurt your ankles while doing this. And uh, you want to make sure, and if you want, you guys can have your hands at your sides for extra balance if you need to. And then you're just going to do the same for the other side. All right? We're going to do five for each leg, so that's ten in total. All right. Let's get to it, guys. One. Two. Three. And when you come down, you're going to want to push yourself up with your front heel. Alright guys, take a quick break. And then after that, we're going to do another 10 reps. You guys want to make sure that your back knee, heel, knee is touching the ground. Alright guys, we've reached the halfway mark of our exercises, so give yourself a pat on the back and get a drink of uh, water. You've earned it. We're going to keep uh, pushing for another three exercises and remember to keep encouraging your teammates uh, while you're doing the exercises and also do it with them. And now for the next exercise we're going to do some supermans and as and like it says uh, we're going to lie uh, face down. We're going to lie face down on the ground with our arms and legs out and then we're going to raise our left. We're going to raise so we're going to raise our right leg with our left arm. We're going to hold it for a second, and then we're going to do the same but opposite. We're going to do that for uh, 10 times, and then after that we're going to take a quick uh, break, and then we're going to do it another 10 times. You guys ready? Let's begin. And be sure to have your back straight while you're doing this. And your neck straight while you're doing it. Five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, 
Oh, I felt the burn on that one. Uh, this is uh, meant for your back, and it's also good for your core too. So if you feel like, uh, so whenever you're lifting your arm, your opposite leg and your opposite arm, be sure to engage your core too, because that's really good. And it also gives you like uh, bonus gains, like you're gonna gain some abs and mind. All right, back to it. All right, ready? Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Great job, guys. All right, so for the next one we're going to do, we're going to do some calf raises. So uh, how do you do it? You're basically, we're going to have your feet at your about shoulder width, and then we're going to uh, press up on the toes of our, on the soles of our feet. This is going to focus on our calves, which is right back here. And we're going to do this for 10 reps. And then after that, we're going to take a little break, and then we're going to do another 10. All right? Let's go, guys. In three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Ten. Great job, guys. Uh, take a quick break if you need it. We're gonna get back. We're gonna get back to this in uh, ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys. So our final exercise, we're going to do some ski jumps. So I want you to stand with your feet together, arms at the side, knees bent, and then we're going to jump side, one side, making sure that our knees and our toes point to the right, and then the other, we're going to point our knees and toes to the left. And we're going to do this continually for 10 reps. So is everyone ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great work, guys. Take a quick water break, and then we'll get right back to it. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fantastic work, everyone. Those were some tough exercises. I'm going to be feeling those in the morning. And uh, now you guys deserve a cool down. So for the first exercise of the cool down, we're going to do some uh, tricep stretches. So basically, you're going to want your right arm to come and grab your head. And then you're going to want to hold on. And then you're going to want your left hand on your right elbow, as demonstrated. And we're going to hold this for at least 30 seconds. All right, now switch sides. We're going to do this for 30 seconds too. Ten more seconds, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so for the next one, we're going to do some ham uh, string stretches. We're going to be in a standing position with your legs straight and your knees slightly bent. And now you're going to want to reach for your toes. And then we are going to hold this position for 30 seconds. Ten more seconds, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back up slowly. Now the next one we're going to do is we're going to do some quad stretches. And so for this one, if you uh, want to have your partner help you, you can latch onto them. So basically, we're going to put up either a left or right heel up to our butts. And we're going to squetch and we're going to stretch that quad. We're going to hold each for 30 seconds. Or you could do this standing if you have really good balance, like me. Either way, doesn't matter. 10 more seconds, guys. Five, four, three, Two, one, oops, stop up there. All right, now the other leg. We're gonna hold this for another 30 seconds. All right, 10 more seconds, you guys. Five, four, Three, two, one. All right, so for the final stretch we're going to do, we're going to do some calf stretches. So if you can find a wall, use that. If you don't, that's equally okay. Just make sure, like picture there's an imaginary wall. So for this one, we're going to want to have our, we're going to have our front knee out, and then we're, we're going to have either our left or right, either way. We're going to have the right knee bent, and then we're going to have the back knee straight. And if you don't have a wall, just imagine like we're pushing a wall. You should feel that in the back of your leg. We're going to hold this for 30 seconds. You want to make sure that your back is straight too. You want to have good form. We're going to relax. We are done with the exercises. We are all good. And five, four, three, two, one. All right, 
We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to switch, to switch legs. And you're one, and you're going to want to push forward too. Don't have a wall, this may be a lot harder, but just imagine that there's a wall, like I said. We're going to do this for 30 more seconds. Ten more seconds, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back up slowly. Great work, guys. All right. Great job, guys. Round of applause to you. All right. Thank you for participating with us today. We hope you had an amazing time and fun. Remember, if you have any photos and you your teachers can submit them on the Special Olympics Ontario official website and share them during the live event tomorrow. And don't forget to take a break and drink water when you need it and keep and keep working on those dance moves, guys. And the live event is on Thursday. See you then.